Alrighty guys, what to start for this month, the month of July? Well, here's a grow chart from a garden friend, Angela, from Growing in the Garden. She's amazing. She has an Instagram account and she also have a YouTube account. I'll put the link in the description below. And here's a grow chart from Summer Winds. Um, it's a nursery where I work at, or usually work at, uh, during the weekends but I kinda had to put a pause to it because of the coronavirus. So here is what I've sowed last week or will continue to sow in the coming weeks. Armenian cucumbers, okra, tomatoes, yard long beans, sugar snap peas, squash, and more sunflowers because you can't have enough of those. So, this will be a new spot for my Armenian striped cucumbers here. And all you need is, well, all I need is a one gallon pot, potting soil, of course, and this wire cage. I like to start everything with potting soil in this pot. And then afterward, what I do is cut the bottom and then pretty much just stick it in the ground. Of course, I will be digging a hole, not too deep, but yep, this pot will go in the ground, open bottom. All right guys, the soil is in the pot and I'm going to add three or four of the seeds in and then I'm going to cover it with the seed starting mix. And it's light enough, the seedlings can easily pop through it. And I've been doing that for years, especially when I start anything in a one gallon pot. Maybe another one. And that is all you really need. All right? Put the cage top. And the reason why I like to use the cage is because it helps deter the birds because they love to come and pluck out all my seedlings. And when the plant gets a little bigger because it's a climber it has something to climb on there you go and of course don't forget to water and just in case if you guys are wondering about this nozzle or head or spout um i bought this off of amazon for three for five dollars that was a steal i love it and it's worth every penny So when the cucumbers pop up, that cage will look something like this and eventually looks something like this. So if you guys have a small space and you don't want to build any big trellises, use a cage. It is super simple and you'll love it. Alrighty guys, so the seeds were sowed on Wednesday and today is Saturday. So that was a full three days. And look at that, little seedlings popping out already. How amazing is that? That's one good thing about Arizona. Love the heat and everything germinates super quick. Okay guys, so Jacob and I want to apologize right now because this will not be a weak link, a weak link, oh my goodness, a weekly, um, garden updated video because today is July 4th and I want to spend some time with my family so this video is going to be short. I do want to talk a little bit more about this cage right here. Um, I bought this from Lowe's. It comes in 50 and 100 feet long um, roll so it can be a little expensive. I think I paid ooh, either 50 or 60 bucks, but you know what? It's worth it. As you can see, there are wire cage everywhere and it's so useful. I do want to answer this one important question because I know I'm going to get it. Um, yes, this will get hot. 
because it's Arizona and it's over 100 degrees literally every day during the summer. Will the plants burn? Yes, it will. But you know what? These plants are survivors. As you can see here, it's okay. I've noticed that the older plants in the back, in the back garden, the tendrils will burn a little bit, but other than that, no major damage. So the good thing about this wire cage is you can cut it to whatever size you want. So here, this is about, oh gosh. So I like to count the notches or the holes or the openings here. So there are 13 here and I like to overlap a one of the sections so it can be a little sturdier. Measure it to however size diameter you want and it'll easily fit. So yeah, it's easy peasy. Try it out. It's a great, it's just great. And then the good thing about this is if you want to move the pot, you can just pick up the pot and the cage and move it to wherever you want it to. All right, guys, again, I just want to apologize for not doing a weekly garden update, but I will do it tomorrow. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Stay safe. Peace out.